Mark J. Welcome to another video. Today I've got something really awesome to show you. Here's the Forge Mark Builder. This is a program I've been working on for quite a long time and I've finally got around to doing a video on this. Um, yeah, the Forge Mark Builder is exactly what you expect it to do. It helps build your mod, set it up, update, refresh, and it's got a load of features. So I'm going to dive right in there. You can notice that I'm actually on an older version of this, as it says here. It says I'm on the old version and an update is available so I'll just show you this in action it has an update checker and you see it says there's an update and what we're going to do is we're going to go and choose to update it's going to ask us where do you want to update it to I'm going to put it to here and I'm just going to save it right here that's a new version and as you can see uh, it will open that up don't worry about this Avast Cyber Capture this is just something that opens up to make sure that everything's safe regarding this. Just keeping me safe. Don't just love it so it will close in a sec. It just scans it and it will reopen it. And as you can see, we are now got no more updates because we're on the latest version. Which is super, super awesome. So let's go through all the features. One of the latest features in the newer updates is this new project button here and new project button down here. I'm going to click on it down here and it's going to say creating a new project and as you can see uh, it's going to do a nice lovely wheel here and it's going to go and get all the different Minecraft versions and everything you need uh, just so it can list all the versions nice and easily for you to use. Do note that this might be a bit intensive of your com on your computer if you've got not very good RAM but yep there you go. You downloaded it, you can see all of the different Minecraft versions and all the Forge versions for this correct Minecraft version. As you just saw, there's a star here that shows that it is a recommended version. If you go to 1.11.2, that's the recommended version. Go all the way back to 1.5, I believe it was, when the first recommended version came out, 1.5.2. There you go. So you can even install a 1.5.2 mod. And I'm going to choose the latest uh, 1.12 mod. You need to put your project name. So this is typically the name of your mod. So let's do it for a bit of everything. A uh, bit of everything. The project version, that's the initial version. So 0.0.1 .0 is mine. Uh, just what you're going to start it off with. The group name, this is the way you get to the main class. So as is just cjminecraft.bit of everything. And a Java version, this is what Java version you are currently on. Then you can click create. And what it's going to do is if it's accepted all that, it will find the download link. It will go into your area and you find where you want to install this. I'm going to install it in Bit of Everything 1.12 folder. It will download, load it all up. Would you like to set up now? Yes, I'm going to be using the clips. Boom. And there you go. It's as simple as that. We've created a new Forge project and we are built like setting it up right now. This is this is amazing. It's it's so useful. And as you can see on the top, it's detected that we're on this uh, project. And as you can see, it now comes up on the list of projects here. Uh, what I can do is in options, I can clear the project cache and it will stop those from appearing on here. And uh, if I open it up again, it will work. As you can see, I'm currently now installing the new version. Uh, you can see some nice lovely syntax highlighting here, uh, showing that skipped is highlighted, which is really nice. Uh, while it's doing that, I'll go through the settings. You've got a check for updates, which won't well, check for updates and it sees there's no updates. Uh, you can check the version. I'm not going to call this now because that will lag me out a little bit. Uh, that's the loading bar thing we saw earlier. Uh, there's something called console font, which is the font for this console here, which we can actually change, and this will be saved next time you log on. Uh, so there you go. Uh, it's going to be on a bit slow seeing as it's building in the background. So we could boost uh, up the font. We can even do it in Minecraft font. So there you go. Lovely Minecraft theme. I really don't like that. Uh, Microsoft Sans Serif. There you go. Beautiful. And obviously you can change the font, uh, you can clear the console, which you can guess what that does. Um, it clears the console quite conveniently. And all of the data that from all the stuff here is all saved so that when you go 
and load up the next time everything's loaded up. So here I am in the app data uh, of my user account and you'll see these three files in uh, roaming and forge mod builder. You got all the options which if I open this up in notepad plus plus you can see that we have the console font which is saved here correctly. Um, we've also got the projects which is a list of projects. Currently we've got none open so that's why none appears. That's because we cleared it and here we got the versions file this is a list of all the different minecraft versions with all the forge versions now if you've got bad internet what you can do is you can ask a mate or something to send you this file you go put this into your area and you will see that uh, the versions will automatically work if there isn't a new forge version if there's a new forge version for 1.12 it's going to go through and redo it all make sure it's all up to date obviously you can do that manually and in the future i might add a button to disable it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open a project you can obviously do it from here as well open a project uh, i'm going to choose a bit of everything 1.11.2 version uh, bit of everything 1.11.2 open it you see it loaded it correctly makes a nice sound and it's now got all of these different buttons so you can refresh the project directly without even opening it straight away and you will be able to see that here in projects our project appears correctly so uh, let's go about the next button you got a build project button which does what you would expect you can build a project and you can even make it deobfuscated if that's how you say it that's basically so that uh, it will if you do a deobfuscated it means that you can read the code if you like opening up so that's what I'm going to be doing with my API now there you go you can see that I've built it successfully it's got all nice green text because it knows it's done well you can obviously set up the project uh, using either Eclipse or IDEA uh, I'm going to cancel that uh, you can even update your project if you look here you'll see that I'm currently on uh, 13.20.1.2421 the new version is 2425 so if I click yes I can go set up and update the mod that is absolutely brilliant that I can do that so easily so so easily um, and once it's done that I'll show you you can actually change the project version It'll keep it on the same Minecraft version, but you can change the Forge version. So, as you see, it's on 2425, which is the one, the latest one. You can actually downgrade it. I wouldn't. I don't recommend downgrading, but this is if you want to change it and set what version you want to change to. You obviously, you can go back to the first version. But I wouldn't do that. And also, a nice little feature on the end is the refresh project, uh, which will basically set up the project but refresh everything um, so that's say if you've added another mod to your build.gradle file it'll do that um, as you can see we've now updated forge which is brilliant and I hope you find this really useful there'll be a download in the description obviously when there's an update I'll push the update and you guys will all get notified of this update from the program obviously you can just manually check for updates and you can see whether there's an update. So thank you guys for watching. Don't like, comment and subscribe. I am out.